Today I'm going to show you a new feature that will enable you to do a force regen using our Detroit Diesel Reset Tool. I got behind me a 2009 Freightliner Cascadia with the Detroit DD15 and this process works on any Detroit Diesel from 2007 to 2016. Why would you need to run a regen? A regen is required when the truck's DPF filter is full and needs to be cleaned. You can normally initiate the regen using the switch on the dash, but sometimes that is locked out and then you'll need to have a scan tool, or in this case, I'm going to show you how to use our reset tool to perform this force regen. There are four different levels of regen. Level 1, regen required. Level 2, regen is necessary. Level 3, park regen required, engine V-rate. Level 4, park regen required and engine shutdown. So right now I'm going to show you how to use our reset tool to initiate a force regen. So let's get started. So to start a force region using our reset tool, you're going to have to have the engine running at operating temperature. You're going to hold the brake pedal down, disengage the parking brake, engage the parking brake. This truck is automatic transmission, so we're going to put it in reverse. Wait until it engages. We're not going to put it in neutral. And then let go of the bra uh, brake pedal. If it's a stick shift truck with a manual transmission, you'll have to put it in gear and then take it out of gear. That's the only difference. After this, we're going to hook up the scan tool. After you have the scan tool hooked up, 30 seconds, and then the regen will start. Now that we have the scan, uh, Reset tool hooked up, the region is going to start in just a moment. As you can see, the DPF lights came on and the RPM gauge is rising. and the DPF light is flashing. So the regen process takes about 20 to 60 minutes. What this does is it uh, opens the seventh injector up, it dumps fuel into the DPF filter to get it really, really hot to burn the soot inside the filter. So depending on the soot level, that's how long it'll take. If you have more soot, it'll take longer. Typically, anywhere from 20 minutes to 60 minutes. If the region stops sooner than 20 minutes, then there's an issue with the DPF system and you're going to have to fix it. Why would you need this reset tool? Well, usually to do this process, you have to take your truck into the dealer. When you bring your truck to the dealer, usually they're a week out, it'll cost you around $500 just to do this simple procedure. Having this tool, you can do it anywhere, anytime, your truck has a D-rate, the still level is high, you pull out the module, you do it on the go, and you'll be ready to go and finish your load. You don't have to get your, tow your truck towed, you don't have to pay fees, take your load with another truck. It's just much simpler, a lot less downtime, and a lot more money saved. So this module, doing this process one time will pay itself off. It's the greatest investment to have, and it's good to have in every single truck you own. Normally, if you want to do a force region yourself, you would have to buy the Detroit Diesel software. And to do so, you have to buy the Nexic, a laptop, and the actual Detroit Diesel software, which on average costs about three to $4,000. And realistically, you would only probably use it once or twice a year, depending if you have more trucks, obviously more times. And it's very complicated to use. 
you have to know how to use it, how to initiate the force regen, and it's just sophisticated to, to use. And I don't think you would trust it leaving it in your truck with other drivers. With this tool, it's inexpensive, it's easy to use, and anybody off the street can use it with a simple direction. All you have to do is turn the ignition on, start the truck, apply the parking brake, put in gear, take it out of gear, and hook up the scan tool, and it starts the regen process. It doesn't get any easier than that. So that's it for this video. As you can see how simple it is to do a force region using our reset tool. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website, otrperformance.com, for more information. Until next time, keep hauling.